Hi, welcome in. My first book of Bible stories, illustrated by Gabby Murphy. The beginning of the world. A long time ago, the world was empty and dark. God wanted to create a beautiful world, so he made heaven and earth and filled them with light. He made land to walk on and water to swim in. God filled the land with grass and trees. He made the sun to shine during the day and the moon and stars to glow at night. God looked at the beautiful world and decided to fill it with living creatures. Every animal on earth was made by God. And just before resting, God made people just like you. Thank you, God, for creating this beautiful world. Adam and Eve. The first two people God created were Adam and Eve. God loved them and made a beautiful garden for them to live in. The garden was called Eden, and it was filled with flowers and trees and animals. Adam and Eve ate the fruit from the trees. They gave all of the animals names. They loved Eden and thanked God for making such a beautiful home for them. Thank you, God, for being so generous. Noah and the Ark. Once there was a good man named Noah. God spoke to Noah and said a flood was coming to earth. He asked Noah to save all of the animals in a boat called an ark. Noah filled the ark with two of every animal. He brought two lions, two cows, two bears, two mice, and more. Water came and covered everything. Noah and his family were safe on the ark with all of the animals. After many, many days, Noah sent a dove to look for land. The dove came back with an olive branch. This meant the flood was over. Thank you, God, for all the wonderful animals. The story of Joseph. Joseph had many brothers, but he was his father's favorite son. His father gave him a coat of many colors, which made his brothers jealous. They captured him and sent him away to Egypt, where he was a prisoner. But God loved Joseph and helped him to become powerful in Egypt. When a time of hunger came, Joseph's brothers came to him asking for food. They didn't recognize him. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food. He told them who he was and sent them home with plenty of food and money. Please help me, God, to forgive others. Baby Moses, Joseph's sons and daughters were called the Israelites. In Egypt, the king forced the Israelites to work very hard. They were not allowed to have sons. One Israelite couple had a new baby boy. To protect him, they put him in a basket and floated him down the Nile River. The king's daughter was bathing in the river that day. She saw the basket with the tiny baby and decided to keep him as her own. She named the baby Moses. When Moses grew up, he saved the Israelites and led them out of Egypt. Thank you, God, for protecting us. Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel was the favorite servant of King Darius. This made the other servants jealous, and they told the king to make a law that no one could pray to God. Daniel prayed to God anyway, so King Darius shut him in a cave filled with lions. The king did not want Daniel to die, so he 
asked God to protect him. When the king returned in the morning, Daniel was safe. God closed the mouths of the lions so they couldn't hurt him. King Darius made a new law so every person in his kingdom could pray to God. Thank you, God, for listening to my prayers. David and Goliath, the Israelites were attacked by people called the Philistines. They were very afraid because one of the Philistines was a giant named Goliath. He was so tall that no one could beat him. He mocked God and said cruel things. David was small, but he wanted to help. He went to the battlefield with no armor. He only brought his slingshot, but he had faith in God. With just one rock, he knocked Goliath down. The Philistines were so afraid they ran away and the Israelites were saved. Please teach me, God, to help others, even when I feel small. Jonah and the Whale one day, God told a man named Jonah to preach to the people of Nineveh. They needed someone to teach them about God, but Jonah didn't like the people there, so he ran away on a ship. God sent a storm, and Jonah fell into the water. Then God sent a whale to swallow him. Jonah was safe inside the whale, and he saw that he was wrong to disobey God. He prayed and said he was sorry. God freed him from the whale, and Jonah happily went to Nineveh to preach. Thank you, God, for giving me work to do. The birth of Jesus. The angel Gabriel came to a woman named Mary and told her she would give birth to the Son of God. When it was time for her to have her baby, she traveled to Bethlehem with her husband Joseph. But all of the inns were full. Mary and Joseph went to a stable filled with animals, and Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ our Savior. As Mary laid Jesus in a manger, a bright star in the sky told people to come from far and wide to see him. Three wise men brought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We celebrate Jesus' birth each Christmas. Thank you, God, for Jesus. The Good Samaritan. When Jesus grew up, he told stories to teach people how to live the way God wanted. He taught everyone to love their neighbor. One man asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus told the story of a man who was robbed while traveling. Two of his own people passed by him and did not help. A Samaritan who was a stranger found the man and helped him. He healed his wounds and gave him a place to sleep. The Samaritan was the man's true neighbor because he was kind. Jesus told his followers to be like the Samaritan. Please help me, God, to be kind to others. The feeding of the 5,000. One day, Jesus spoke to a crowd of people. When evening came, everyone was hungry. But Jesus' followers had only five loaves of bread and two fish to eat. They doubted that everyone could be fed. Jesus told them to have faith in God and give the loaves and fish to the crowd. The people passed the food from hand to hand, and suddenly there was enough for everyone to eat. It was a miracle. Jesus fed 5,000 people that day. Thank you, God, for the food we eat.
Jesus is risen. Some people hated Jesus because he preached about God. They captured him and hanged him on a cross. Jesus' followers, followers were very sad and put him in a tomb behind a heavy stone. But when the two women, who were both named Mary, went to visit the tomb, it was empty. Jesus had risen from the dead. He appeared to his followers and told them to obey God. Some did not believe him, but he showed them that he had truly risen. Jesus suffered for everyone's sins and saved us all. Please help me, God, to keep Jesus in my heart. And that's the end. And this, the back of the book says, 12 of the most wonderful stories from the Bible, lovingly retold and beautifully illustrated for little ones. And here's the cover again.